I'll grab the lights. Okay. Thank you. All right. Ready? Rolling. All right. This week on The Transcript, we interviewed multiple... Please excuse the interruption. The school will now go into a stay in place. If you are in a hallway, get to the closest classroom. Stay in the classroom. You can continue working. Just stay in place, please. Again. Again. We can just do it in here. Sounds good. Quiet on set! Thank you. In the past few weeks at Northampton High School, the school has gone into several stay in places involving physical violence in many locations in the school. Because of said stay in places, police presence has increased. We talked to students, teachers, and police about how the stay in places and police presence have affected their day to day lives. Last week, we had uh, some concerns that we learned about that made us feel like it was going to be helpful to have um, police presence during arrival in the morning. And uh, th it, that's a particularly challenging time because all of the doors are, not all, but there are doors that are open and there's a lot of movement. And so um, most of the day after nine o'clock, we lock the doors and it's a lot easier for us to manage uh, who's in the building. Still challenging with 28 uh, exterior doors but it's a little more manageable so we can keep track of who's coming in the building. Whereas in the morning, we, we do have adults posted at each of the entrances, the main entrances students and staff use, uh, but it's hard to manage, you know, and so we wanted to be sure that if there were a disruption that we were prepared for that. So this last week, you know, it was for the week, we had uh, some concerns that we learned about that made us feel uh, that it made sense during that time of day when it would be hard for us to stop someone from coming in the building uh, to have uh, have some extra help uh, on hand. So it was very situational. It's not a it's not a plan to you know for every day. So for some students, it's helpful that to have a sense that there's adults and security personnel available. And I know for others, their experience uh, and, or, and uh, with the police, less so. So it's always a balancing act to figure out when and how best to respond to concerns. But there are times when we feel the need to uh, involve the police because you know we can use the help. This police have historic historically not really been able to do much in a lot of school situations. So I think their presence doesn't really affect the actual safety here because they would need to call back to the station for backup in, the, in case of an event anyway. So there's not much they could do regardless. I mean, I just see them outside. I'm like, why are those, why are the police there? It just like, feels like it doesn't do much of anything. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe out there and we'll see you next year.